K-Docs Movie Review. Bob Marley, One Love is directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green and stars Kingsley ben Adir and Lashana Lynch. Full disclosure, before going into this movie, I knew barely anything about Bob Marley. I know a few of his most famous songs, but that's really it. About his personal life, I didn't really know anything besides the fact that he put a lot of his opinions on social reform into his music and tried to spread love and peace, and that a lot of his music inspired social activism, not only in Jamaica, but in other parts of the world as well. So I was pretty excited for this movie just for that simple fact of not really knowing much about him and hoping to learn a lot more and how he inspired social change. And I gotta say... Eh. What do you mean, eh? Eh. I think if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be charming. Kingsley ben and Lashana Lynch are fantastic in this movie. They both play their roles incredibly well. Kingsley playing Bob Marley and Lashana playing Rita, his wife. You can tell they both put a lot of effort into their respective roles. They have tons of charisma, great chemistry between each other. You could really feel the bond that they shared. While I don't know the two characters personally, it felt like they were treated with respect. I found myself several times throughout this movie just enjoying the characters being amongst each other, creating music. I think that feeling of love and peace amongst friends and family really shines in this movie. There were a lot of times during this movie where I just felt good. If this movie actually was filmed in Jamaica, I hope it was, I think they do a really good job of showing the beauty of the country while also showing a lot of the political struggles and violence that was occurring during the 70s and 80s. This movie does a great job of putting you in that place during that time. But without getting too into spoilers, if you were looking for a movie that really dives into the entire life of Bob Marley, how he became to be such a famous musician and activist, unfortunately you're not really going to get that here. This movie only really covers about three to four years of his life. The movie starts with him already being the Bob Marley that we know. The movie will cut away from time to time to parts of his early life when he's struggling to find out who he is and finding his voice in music. And I wanted more of that. I wanted to see more of those early struggles. I thought this was going to be about his entire life and how he became who he became. I can't necessarily fault the movie for that unless there was some deceptive advertising involved, but I think I would have enjoyed that story more. So what about the movie we did get? This movie more so focuses on the creation of his album Exodus, how he left Jamaica for a few years, toured the world, and then eventually came back for that famous concert. The movie itself though, it's a bit disjointed. I feel as if this script could have used a lot of work. The beginning I was on board with. It started off strong. The hero is presented with a problem. And I thought, okay, this is what the movie is going to be. But then it quickly solves that and becomes something else. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what does this lead to? What's the conflict? The movie is so good at just putting you in that space with the characters for a specific scene or two. And don't get me wrong, all of the actors are oozing charisma. You are just loving watching them. But when you think about the arc of a movie, you don't really know where it's going, what the actual struggle is, or what we're building to. I guess if you knew more about the specifics of his life, you could see where it's going, but as someone who didn't really know much going into it, I was a little lost. The characters are all of a sudden presented with this problem at the end of the second act where a fight occurs, and I just didn't really feel it. I didn't feel it building to that. It came out of left field. I was completely surprised by that argument. It almost feels like the writers said to themselves, oh shit, we're making a movie. We need a problem that the characters need to address and overcome. And that conflict is resolved almost immediately. So while watching this movie, I felt a little weird because I was enjoying myself, but it just felt like I was enjoying scenes. I wasn't really enjoying a story. The tension, so to speak, is sort of rising and falling rapidly, and you don't really know what we're building to. So the end of the movie felt very rushed. So overall, I don't know. This is really a tough one, because while the movie had a lot of charm and there were a lot of scenes that I enjoyed, I found myself smiling, I kind of left a little frustrated because of the lack of a cohesive story. 
it just feels like if we place this director and these actors in a better script, this movie could have been perfect. I mean, if you're a fan of Bob Marley, you're probably going to see this anyway. If you don't really know much about him, like I did, I guess I'd recommend it on a bargain Tuesday or if you have one of those passes where you can see multiple movies per week. I will say though, when I was watching some of the credits, there were a lot of Marleys that produced this movie. And so I always fear that we're not getting the best representation of how that person was as a whole. So overall, it was a good time. I just, I wanted more out of it. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie in the comments below, or if you're looking forward to seeing this movie, or if you could recommend to me a really good documentary about his life and his upbringing, how he came into music, because that's something I really wanted to see. Till next time.